I want to save you all some money today on your luxury beauty products and show you which ones I think are worth the hype and which ones are waste of your cash. If you're new to my channel, my name is Marlena. I've been a brand owner and product developer for over 15 years and I want to show you which products I really do think are worth the money and which brands are actually ripping you off. Let's start first with the category worth the money. The first product I have are Patrick Ta blushes. I feel like these are absolutely worth the money. They are $36 and you can get them at Sephora, but I say that these are worth the money because the brand is paying for premier packaging with having a custom color compact. It also has inside two formulas, a cream and a powder, which is expensive to make for a brand. So they are spending money on the actual product itself. And on the packaging too, it has this divider here that covers the cream. All of these little details added together from the packaging standpoint add up to a lot of money. You get six grams of cream on top and four grams of powder on the bottom. So that will last you a really long time. So from a volume standpoint of how much product you get for the price, point, I really do think it is fair. And $36 for having two blushes in a beautiful compact is, in my opinion, worth $36. Now the blush that we have that's a waste of cash, I know I'm going to get roasted for this because it was viral all over TikTok for a while, but it is the Dior blushes, you guys. I went to Nordstrom, I tested it out, you all. The formula of this blush is so incredibly dry. It does not feel luxurious at all. Now, this blush is $40. So is it as high end as say a Tom Ford, a Valentino? But even at $40, you guys, this is a plastic component. I didn't feel that there was any true customization of this blush to really make it feel like a luxury product. It's really disappointing because I love Dior's lipsticks. You know, like their lipsticks here, it has custom logo on here. It has the little cap on top. It has the debossed logo in here. There's so many beautiful features of this component that feel very luxurious. But when it comes to the blush, it was like, Mwah. I don't even have it, you guys. I didn't buy it because I was so disappointed. It's not magnetic. It closes shut with this clicking sound. The formula is very dry. Nothing about that blush to me felt like it was high end or even prestige level at all. To me, if I didn't see the Dior name on it, I would assume that that was a drugstore blush. I said it. I don't care, you guys. <laughs> From start to finish, the plastic packaging, the formula being dry, all of that stuff, it does not feel like it's worth $40. And in my opinion, just my personal professional opinion, I think it's a waste of cash. Now another product that's worth the money is our sponsor for today and that is Lily Silk. You all, I have purchased from this brand with my own money many, many, many times over the years. This boss here is one that I've had for over a year. I've worn it many times in videos and this camisole I purchased myself as well because I truly love this brand. They have high quality silk, wool, cashmere products that fit me. I'm a plus size woman and it's so hard to find quality clothes that make me feel chic, very luxurious and elegant that actually fit me. So that's why it's my favorite brand. I'm so grateful to them for sponsoring today's video because I have a coupon for you guys to share. I'll put it here on the screen if you want to check them out. But I want to show you some of my favorite pieces. So the blouses I have here are my absolute favorite. These are their long sleeve silk blouses. They come in the plain design like this. I also have this striped shirt in this same type of silk. They also have sweaters. This is their holiday sweater right now. It is so soft, you all. Let me show you this piece too really quick. Okay, look how cute this sweater is to you all and it's so comfortable. So I'll wear this with jeans, a lace camisole, and this on top. They also have silk robes like this, which is great for a holiday. They make such good gifts. What I'm actually gifting to some people for holiday is some of these robes because look how luxurious they are. They're so silky. They're very comfortable and they have my size. Like my size here that I have is a 2XL. I have to show you my favorite, this jacket. <sighs> you guys, hold on. I'm so excited you all because their items are so beautiful. Look at this jacket. Is this not the cutest jacket? Look at that. So I wear this now when I have business meetings or I go on a date with my husband. This is my overcoat that I wear over my silk blouses and it's so well made. My pieces have held up so long. So the other thing I wanna show you guys is their pillowcases. So I've had a set for over a year. They still look brand new, no joke. So they have pillowcases like this, the silk pillowcases. Look how beautiful they are. So whenever I sleep with these, my hair is softer. It doesn't get frizzy at all. And it feels so luxurious when I get into bed because I have this beautiful silk pillowcase. So I'm so excited that they sponsored today's video and give you guys a coupon. It's Marlena15 if you want 15% off the brand. So I'll put everything in the description box below if you guys want to check it out. Thank you so much, Lily Silk, for sponsoring today's video. Next product we have that is worth the money, and I've talked about this a lot in Instagram. I am not paid by this brand whatsoever, you guys. I bought these with my own money, but it is the Natasha Denona palettes. Now, when they first came out with the big palettes that were over $120, those were absolutely not worth it. But they've switched their business model and have had these medium-sized ones for $60. 
$69. I believe these are worth it because of the amount of customization they are doing in the product and the packaging. So many of their palettes come in this format here. It is a magnetic palette. It has a full-size mirror inside. The palette inside has this secondary part right here that is raised, and it's always custom colored. So you have this one that is copper. You have this one that is new that has this raised plastic on the side. And then also on the back of all of these palettes, it is a soft touch finish. That is an upcharge in packaging to add that soft touch finish. It costs extra money. And then the fact that they have holes on the back to pop out the eyeshadows, that has to be specifically tooled for this compact. So they paid extra tooling costs to add that feature. The eyeshadows inside are made in Italy. Italy is the most expensive place to have products made because of the cost of labor and usually because of the higher quality ingredients that they're using. When it comes to the product, I believe it's worth the money because they always have multiple shimmers in their palettes. Shimmers and metallics cost much more to make than matte formulas. So when you see a bunch of shimmers in here, especially something that is super metallic like that, it's an expensive raw material. So to have that included in all of this palette with all these shimmers, it's pricey. So I feel at $69, their margins are actually pretty tight for what they're offering. So I think that these are worth the money. Now let's talk about a palette that is not worth the cash. And I am going to get so much flack for this one, y'all. But again, this is my just opinion from a professional standpoint of what I believe it costs the brand to make this. So because I know you guys are going to have torches outside my house, but it is the Pat McGrath Mothership palettes, you all. I love Pat McGrath. I love her as an artist. I respect her immensely. She's incredibly talented. She is such an icon. This has nothing to do with her as an artist, but these palettes, I'm just, I'm going to be blunt in this video. I'll, it, they're total ripoff. I'm sorry. I said it. I bought this one on the Sephora sale, so I got it discounted. I would never pay full price for this palette. Now, let me explain why. Now, the packaging, the box it comes in, this is custom. So this does cost money. You would be surprised, you all, how much it costs to make boxes to put your makeup products in that everyone just tosses. Every time I get price quotes when I work on new projects for product development and they come back with a price for the box, I'm like, really? Really? It costs that much for a box? So they did pay money for this. I will give them that. But I will say this, the palettes are very heavy. They are very sturdy. I am guessing that they have put weights inside here to make it heavy and feel luxurious. So they did add some extra features to it. This is a very substantial palette. It is well made. It's magnetic. It has the debossed logo in here. You can feel a slight texture on that. The back has this beautiful gold mirror. So they did spend and money on packaging, absolutely no doubt. Let's talk about the shadow. So this is a brand new palette. I've had other palettes in the past that I've used. The formulas are really beautiful. Do not get me wrong. They are absolutely stunning. I really do love how metallic they are. They, the finishes are beautiful. So it, no doubt the quality is there for the shadows. The only reason I say that this isn't worth the money is because you get 10 shadows in this palette. It's $128. That is $12 per pan. Now, if you were to buy singles from, say, MAC or something like that, you would be spending that much. However, when a brand orders multiple shades like this, has it in one production run, they're getting a discount with having many shades in there. So they did spend money on this palette. In my opinion, I would feel it's worth it if it was around $90, which even that is very expensive. Absolutely no doubt. I feel like $90 would be a fair price for this palette. But at $128, I feel like it's a waste of cash, even though I love the palette. I do think it's beautiful. I just think that they're charging way too much for it. Let's talk about skincare. So this is a product that I do think is worth the money and it is a pricey moisturizer. So I'm just going to put that out there. It's pricey. It is the Tatcha Indico Overnight Repair. Now it comes in a tube like this. It's a really substantial packaging. The product inside has, I believe, 1.7 ounces of product. So for me, I've purchased this with my own money. You guys can say I made a big dent in that. This will last me if I use it every night for about six months. And I feel like it's worth it because of the ingredient deck does feel very high quality. It also has the fourth ingredient is Camilla sin sinensis leaf that is green tea leaf extract. They also have Japanese indigo extract, mondo grass root. So they have specific ingredients in here that are a bit more customized to Tatcha that I haven't seen in other brands. And me personally, as a user experience, every time I've used this product on my skin, my redness comes down. I'm very hydrated. My skin is soft. Like for me personally, it works really, really well as a consumer. So am I saying that everyone should 
should run out and spend $92 on a moisturizer? Absolutely not. But compared to the next one I'm going to show you, it is made in Japan. Japan is the top, top place as far as safety regulations, strictness around ingredients that are used, cost of materials, cost of labor. So seeing that this is made in Japan already, I know that they're spending quite a bit more on labor and cost of materials. Now let's talk about a skincare brand that is not worth the cash. I don't have a physical one to show you guys because it, I do not buy from this brand and I'll explain why. Can we have an honest conversation you all about La Mer skincare? I, I, I have to be blunt on this. $380 for two ounces of product. It's about the same size as the Tatcha one. 92 is already really high of a price. It's been a minute since I checked the price of it. I don't know if they keep jacking it up and I checked today. I was shocked you all. $380. I can get a high-end gorgeous luxurious perfume for that. I can go to a five-star restaurant and take my whole family and eat a gourmet meal for that. It is insane price. I want to tell you why this is an absolute waste of cash. I know La Mer, I'm going to be on La Mer's hit list. I know this. I don't really care. When I pull up the ingredient deck of La Mer skincare, now the first ingredient is algae extract, seaweed extract. I looked at the pricing of it. So for example, if you want to get retail seaweed extract online, hold up a site because I wasn't about to call my manufacturer and say, hey, can you price out seaweed extract for me? I didn't want to bug them. So I looked at retail, two pounds of organic seaweed extract powder for cosmetic and skincare. It's $50 for two pounds. There's no way that in one jar of face cream that you're using even remotely a a small portion of that. The second ingredient in their moisturizer is mineral oil. Mineral oil, I'm not going to say it's bad for you, but it is the cheapest oil you could ever use in products. I'm not saying it's a bad product, you guys. It's not dangerous or anything like that, but it's cheap. The fact that I see mineral oil as the second ingredient in a $380 moisturizer is infuriating. The third ingredient is petrolatum. If you guys go to any drugstore or Target, you can see the 100% petroleum jelly. It's usually by Vaseline. I'll put it here on the screen. You can buy it retail, a big old jar of 100% petroleum jelly. It is $1.79 at Target. Retail. It's petroleum jelly. And the packaging, you guys, it is a plain white tube with a sticker on it. It's not even, there's no customization. There's no debossing. There's no gold foil printing. There's no customized molded cap or anything like that. It is literally a stock white tub that I can get at any packaging vendor and slap a sticker on it. $308. Foundations. Let's talk about a luxury foundation that I do believe is worth it. And it is the, you guys are not going to be surprised by this. It's an Sheer Glow. However, even though I've heard they are discontinuing it, may she rest in peace. It's my favorite foundation of all time. The NARS Light reflecting one is another amazing formula. I just bought it a couple weeks ago. It's actually really nice as well. The packaging itself is pretty sleek. NARS usually does very simplistic packaging where it's glass. It has a black pump. It has just a black imprint, a hot stamping on the front. So they're not really spending a lot of money on the packaging. But in my opinion, because the quality of the formula is so amazing and they are always highly reviewed, they do a really great job with their formulation. And they also have a really, really wide range of color. So that all costs money and having to do the, the research and development of getting all those colors, stocking all of those colors in all of the Sephora stores and on their site. So I don't feel like they're ripping anyone off by charging $50. Now, is that a high price for a foundation? Absolutely. In my opinion, though, if you're going to get a luxury foundation, I always recommend NARS because I think they do a great job at their foundations. Now let's talk about a foundation that is a waste of cash. And I've purchased this with my own money, knowing it was a waste of cash, but I I was nosy and I wanted to try it. It is the La Prairie Skin Caviar Concealer and Foundation. I'm embarrassed to even say this price, you all. It is $280 for this foundation. I think it went up because I don't remember paying that price. I believe I got it on sale at Nordstrom when I got it. This is absolutely a waste of cash. As much as I love this foundation, it really is beautiful. I do not plan on going out and spending any more money on the foundation that is this expensive. I will say from a development standpoint, I do want to go over the packaging with with you guys. They did spend a premier price point on the packaging because you have this glass jar that is very customized to them. I haven't seen this packaging anywhere else. It also has the extra component on top. So you have the little paddle with the foundation, which is not
not my favorite, but it is an upcharge in packaging. You have the concealer on top. You also have a mirror and then it comes with a little stand and a brush. So they really did invest a lot of money in the packaging. Absolutely. And the formula is really beautiful, but the marketing ploy that they're using to charge $280 is by saying that it has caviar in it. You all, that is some BS marketing right there. To use that as the reason that you should spend $280 is absolutely insane because it is so far down the list that it's using just the tiniest bit. It's not even in the top half of the ingredient deck, but yet it's all over the packaging. Caviar foundation. No, it's at the bottom of the ingredient deck. You're just ripping people off. So hopefully that gives you all a little inside peek into the behind the scenes of the makeup industry to show you where brands spend money in costing all of the products that they make. Let me know in the comments below which products you think are worth it and which ones you think are a waste of cash. Have a great one, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you next week for another makeup video.